Hello YouTube, this is Mai and Jay and today I'm going to be showing you how to root the Goo Phone i5, Zoo Phone i5 and uh, this phone can, I purchased this from uh, dhk.com but this phone is also available from Android Cell it is also available at fastcardtech.com and many more other websites, okay? Um, once again, this is the original Goo Phone i5 and this is going to be for rooting purposes okay as you can tell already from right there I already have root access it's a very simple process similar to other Android devices that I have rooted before uh, first thing you must do is uh, install ADB uh, if you didn't know how to do that you gotta google it I won't show you that here uh, next thing is uh, you have to make sure you install the drivers uh, but just to give you a heads up, if you installed Snap P, uh, this is a Chinese um, way of synchronizing. It's an app that helps you synchronize your phone. And with this uh, application, you're going to be able to uh, get the drivers for this uh, phone. Okay, but I'm also going to uh, put them on the description so you can be able to download them if you need to. Okay. Uh, that being said. We don't need this, so we're going to close it. Okay, now you're going to download uh, this zip file that I'm going to provide in the link below. And basically, you're going to extract it into a new folder. So let's create a new folder here. And okay, so now we're going to extract. We're going to hit extract files. Maybe new folder two. There we go. Now we're gonna open the folder that we extracted the files to. And next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the Goo phone with the computer. Okay, just like that. All right. Next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that USB debugging is turned on. So we're gonna go to uh, settings, and now we're gonna go to general. You're going to go to accessibility and we're going to go to developer options and we're going to turn on USB debugging. Okay? Once USB debugging is turned on, now you're going to come here to um, back to the uh, zip that we extracted onto the new folder and you're going to double click on run me. Okay? Now from here, you're going to select option one. Okay, so what you're going to do in your computer is you're going to select option one down here. So that's one. Okay, and then you're going to hit enter. Okay, and now the phone is going to do its thing. Okay, now once you see this message, then you're going to slide to unlock your device. Okay, so now you're going to select restore my data. And the phone is going to restart once it's completed. Okay. So there we go. Now the device is going to reboot itself. As you can see, root has completed successfully. So now we're going to click on any key here. There we go. Just going to see and wait. And here we have it. Okay. There we have super user. Already. Okay, then we're going to just update whatever needs to be updated. Done. And of course, there we saw that already um, Root Explorer has permissions. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions, and have a good one.